folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're gonna take up the Arrows uh, 50 millimeter Viper. And now I'm gonna hand launch her. Um, I like to hand launch the Viper like this, but um, I'll start off in their stability mode, which is self-leveling to help me launch. And then I'll immediately switch to AS3X, which is just wind mitigation. And with this breeze we've got right now, I need all the help I can get. All right, we get out here. If you can, always launch into the wind, land, and, uh, land into the wind. That just gives you the best recipe for success. There we go. Honey, I hope I, you still have it. That wind is carrying her like a little kite. But Time I've switched to their optimized mode, which is their AS3X mode. And you can see, now that's non-adjustable. The vector system is non-adjustable. And, uh, sorry, I didn't give you a warning. And there's no rudder, so. Um, so the, the gains on the AS3X or the optimized mode are set. You can't change them. So if you look at it, she's still kind of oscillating a little bit. There's really nothing you can do about it. And uh, I mean, it can only help so much. Let's go ahead and land it. And it's got this, just like all their little 50 millimeter um, toss and boss planes, the bottom is protected with plastic skids. So you don't have to worry about, about that hurting it because it won't hurt it at all. Here, I'm reaching for the rudder trying to correct it. <laughs> I'm just so used to rudder. All right, now I'm gonna do the overhanded throw and I'm gonna take off just in their optimizer AS3X mode. We'll talk about the setup afterwards. Now this is the way they intend for you to fly and um, or take off, so. About three quarters throttle is all you need. For such a little plane though, Minutes. you lost her? For such a little plane, flies really well. We're gonna take it up now, flip it, dive. All right. Now I am running a 4S uh, RC Hackers 1500 millimeter LiPo. The engineers tell you it's designed for 3S only, but doesn't, oh, it doesn't say 3S only, it just says 3S. And, but I fly all of these little arrows, toss and bosses. I them all I fly them all on a 4s and the the uh, ESC is rated for 4s and I have never had a problem with the ESC getting too hot of course I'm not you know full blast all the time man I wish I had a rudder though just a good looking little plane all right let's get her slowed down See if we can't land her. Here, I'm probably blocking the shot right now. Yeah, reaching for rudder again. All right, we got 34 seconds, but I think we're gonna call it quits on that one. Timer was three and a half minutes, so basically we full, flew for a full three minutes. Prop secured. Prop secured, motor off, whatever audio call out you want. But get in the habit, I don't care if it's an EDF, I don't care what it is. Turn that prop off before you touch that plane. Because it's really embarrassing to go to the emergency room because you lopped your finger off on your own toy. Just get in the habit of turning the prop off. Kind of embarrassing to say, hey, my toy hurt me. 
because I was being stupid. All right, my setup, so you can see it, that is the 1500 millimeter uh, RC Hackers LiPo. The, I'm running a seven channel, it doesn't need sound, it only needs four channels, but I got a seven channel Lemon RX Gen 2 receiver in there, and then back in there is the little 40 amp, um, or maybe, I mean it's a 30, it's ESC, and I got my finger on it. It's not hot at all. So, and then that little green, if you can see it right next to the elevator servo, that little green servo there, that little green box, that's the vector system. Now they don't have it in a nice encasement in these little toss and boss. They just have it out raw like that. Um, now you can't take the vector system and take it out of this one and put it into another plane. It is tuned only for this plane. If you put it in another plane, the control server is going to react thinking they're in that plane and then you're going to have a bad day. So I'm sorry, but just, you know, it's for that. They're not tunable that I know of. And okay, let's check our battery. Oh goodness, that wind. One thing that this this particular plane is superior on versus all the other arrows 50 millimeters is this nice hatch hard plastic black hatch we flew for three minutes full full speed most of the time and we still got 56 percent so if you were to put a 1500 4s in there take her up ride some wind you know balance it out mix flying you could get four and a half, maybe even five minutes if you really you know, do a lot of gliding uh, with respect to an EDF. You really can't glide too much, but 56% um, after three minutes, I'd say a solid four, just you know, going all the way, all full throttle. <laughs> so, all right, folks, well, there you go. And that is the Arrows. We're we wanting to fly away on its own. The Arrows 50 millimeter Viper sent to me by Hobby Zone. Hobby Zone, thank you for the plane, for letting me review it. Arrows, Hobby Zone's where you get it, and Arrows is the one that makes it. Y'all have a good, and don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all, and don't forget, faith, family, and friends, the toss and boss jets that do well in crazy wind. Bye. -bye.